So I would like to welcome you all to this uh, short presentation of Avtech now integrating the IATA Turbulence Aware Data in our EFB ProFlight application. To start with, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Niklas Pearson, and I am the Business Unit Director of R&D here at Avtech. This is a presentation that uh, was given by our Chairman of Board, Bo Rerebon, at the IATA Turbulence Data Forum last week in Chicago. And the focus is our uniqueness of how we combine the most accurate high resolution turbulence forecast available with the real time by aircraft measured data to enhance the pilots situation awareness and supporting them in their decision making. The IATA Turbulence Aware program is a global industry wide data exchange platform where detailed turbulence reports from aircraft is downlinked to the platform and it includes time, altitude, aircraft position, EDR values, and wind and temperature data. The information is then shared among all the participating airlines. First, a quick background of what we do. We are an IT company providing the aviation industry with services to increase safety, efficiency, and passenger comfort. We already have an existing product portfolio including multiple services such as optimization of flight management computer data, optimization of different flight phases. We also have top of the line weather forecasting and also alerting services of uh, weather hazards. Everything is delivered to the aircraft in real time. And how we do this is that we build our services to be tailored for any specific flight, both in time and space. And to achieve this, we either retrieve real performance data and flight data, either directly from the aircraft flight management computer or other sources such as flight planning systems. And it all depends on the communication capabilities of the airline. And this is for us to be able to calculate the flight's four dimensional trajectory, which is then used in combination with our weather sources to provide our services. Our main focus is to deliver relevant high quality data to the user at the right time, which means that we filter out unnecessary data. And by focusing on the tailored data for each flight, our solution significantly improves the quality not only of the data, but also of the output. And the highlighted green weather sources are those that we use to deliver the best available turbulence forecast and aware data directly to the pilot and to be presented in our ProFlight application. ProFlight is our weather and optimizer solution for electronic flight bags. It consists of a collection of our services and it's all presented to the pilot in a very user friendly and interactive iOS application. As can be seen here, we use five different sources, or as you will see later, it's five different weather layers presented in our ProFlight application, and it's a combination of both forecasts and observations. What makes our solution unique is that we can combine the IATA Turbulence Aware Data, which is actual measurements by aircraft with the best available turbulence forecast from Met Office's high resolution 10K weather model. The standard aviation weather today has a resolution of 140 kilometers, while this high resolution weather model has a resolution of 10 kilometers, which significantly improves the accuracy of the forecast. The unique 10K global weather model is provided by Met Office, UK's national weather service. I should also mention that Met Office is one of only two world area forecast centers providing global high level weather information to the aviation industry. And today, Avtech has a unique access to this 10K weather model through a jointly developed API. As can be seen, we use some weather layers based on the standard low resolution model, which is a standard weather the pilots are used to already today. And on top of that, we put the high resolution weather, which significantly improves the forecast, which we will see later in example flight. Now we can also display real time measurements from other aircraft, which we put on top of all the other layers. And this real time data will improve the pilot's situation awareness, either verifying that our high resolution forecast is correct or show that the actual turbulence is either slightly less or 
more intense than forecasted. And this helps the pilot in the decision-making process to execute the flight in a more safe and efficient manner. So this is how the information is presented to the pilot in our ProFlight application. What can be seen here is how every layer adds to the situation awareness, which in turn makes the decision process easier for the pilot. The first layer is the traditional significant weather chart. And on top of that, we put the global clear air turbulence, which is part of the WOFS data. And this data is at predefined levels and for predefined time steps only, which will give a rough idea about the flying conditions. The third layer on top of that is really adding high value to the planning and execution of the flight. This is our high resolution turbulence forecast, which is then tailored for the flight, both in time and space. And it will give the pilot a clear view of the forecasted turbulence, not only at the planned flight level, but also for levels above and below, assisting the pilot in the decision making to either climb or descend to avoid or minimize the turbulence. The uh, top two layers are both observation layers. The first one is the segment layer, which consists of either, well, it's actually either forecast or observations from other pilots. And these observations are, of course, good and adds value, but they are subjective and not very geographically precise, as most of the time they cover very lar large areas. Instead, our top layer, the turbulence aware data, from IATA is what really improves the observed turbulence, as this is based on software algorithm using already installed sensors in the aircraft, the observation is objective. As mentioned earlier, this gives the pilot a very good picture of real and actual turbulence along their flight path. We will now look at an example flight and how it's displayed in ProFlight. What we're looking at is a flight from Stockholm to Chicago. It will not show the significant weather chart. Instead, I will start to look at what the turbulence forecast says based on the low resolution WOFS data. Looking at this forecast, it shows that during the flight, one can expect a mix of both light, moderate and severe turbulence for a duration of approximately one hour and 45 minutes. Now let's add the high resolution turbulence forecast on top of it. And we can now see both the horizontal and vertical extension of the forecasted turbulence. What can be seen in the map view is the horizontal extension at the selected level. In this example, we have selected a planned flight level from the flight plan, but it's possible to step up and down, which will then be reflected in the map view. And in the bottom vertical view, we can see both the horizontal and the vertical spread along the flight plan route. Now filtering out the WOFS forecast gives a much clearer view of the expected turbulence. And instead of turbulence for a duration of one hour and 45 minutes, one can see now that we have occasional turbulence and it's only light. There is no more forecasted moderate or severe turbulence along the route. So now adding the um, turbulence aware data on top of this layer and for this particular flight, it actually verifies that the high resolution forecast is correct and that the area with a more severe turbulence has not yet reached that far up north, but instead can be seen south of the route. In ProFlight, the airline can set a buffer surrounding the route and all the reported turbulence within this buffer will be treated as relevant to the flight or more or less being on the route and will also be shown in the bottom vertical view so that it's easy for the pilot to see what levels are actually affected. The turbulence aware data in ProFlight is now available for airline customers participating in the IATA turbulence aware program and can easily be switched on. So finally, I would like to thank you all for listening and please feel free to contact us for further information. Thank you.